Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll see how to install any other packages in this Kali Linux machine with the apt-get command. So, if you have ever installed any software in the Kali Linux or any Linux distros, you should have get familiar with this apt-get command. So, it can be any distros like Ubuntu or any Kali Linux and this is the machine that is dependent on the Debian Linux or the DPKG packaging system which stands for Debian packaging. So packaging system simply provides the programs and applications for the installation. So if you want to just install any third parties libraries or packages or application you have to just go through DPKG packaging system which is the advanced package tool which is your apt command so apt command is a command line tool that is used for the easy interaction with the dpkg packaging system and it is the most efficient and preferred way of managing softwares from the command line for debian and a debian based linux distros like ubuntu or a kali linux so if you want to install any package you have to first open your terminal and install it from the apt-get command so apt-get here is an advanced packaging tool so if you want to use the apt-get command, apt-get command should be used with the administrative privilege. So it should be with the root privilege in the Kali Linux and with the sudo privilege in the Ubuntu. So if you want to use apt-get like this apt-get, it should be with the sudo command or basically it should be with the administrative privilege. So if you are familiar with uh, the Windows system, you normally open your command prompt or basically the cell with the administrative purpose or basically if you just open okay we don't have over here so let me say cmd and if i say run as administrator and if i just press ok over here it is going to be executed into the administrator privilege so same should be done in the case of this terminal so it is done with this sudo command but in the case of Kali Linux, you don't have to do this because we are initially with this root privilege. So we are basically using this root. That means we don't have to do sudo. We are uh, basically executing every command with this root privilege, which is administrative or super user privilege. So it will just deal with the all the aspect of the system, either in the Ubuntu or the Kali Linux. And basically in the case of Ubuntu, you have to make use of sudo command to install any application on your system. So if you want to just update the package database, we have the command here apt-get command. So you have to do something like apt-get and update. So every time you are going to install any new application, let me say now we have to install VLC player in this machine. You have to first update all the package list before installing that new application. So you have to first update this package database with this command. So when I just say apt get update and press enter, it will just work with the, all of this library. So all you need to do is simply have the internet connection and wait for a moment. So package database has been updated successfully with this command. So uh, now, next thing you have to do is install your application. So installing application is basically with this apt-get command. And now instead of update, you have to type install and your package name or basically your name. Or you can also say the command that is going to install the package. So in my case, I think it is VLC let's hit enter and i'll say yes i want to install it so it is going to check for the headers and now it should be downloading all of our package in order to install that application and let it give a time to download everything so now i think it is installing some new package so I'll just give it a time to work. Let's see if this 
so finally everything has been set up so we have downloaded it successfully so let's go to our application section and let's source uh, for the VLC and let's see if this has been installed or not so I'll just go over here and type VLC and we have here the VLC media player so we have successfully installed our VLC so next thing what you need to do is install the terminator so terminator is an advanced terminal so we have this terminal we want to just install the advanced terminal with this apt-get to install any package it should be with the install command and terminator if I just hit enter it will ask if you want to just install that and it will do the same task that was done for the VLC player and let it give a time mm, it is saying the one minute so I'll just pause right here and uh, I'll just go back and see what we have the next thing to do so let me just open new window for now a new terminal basically and it is downloading over here I'm saying new window but so we have successfully downloaded the terminator let's go back again here and search for the terminator there is been lag in the processor so let me search for terminator and it is right here when I say press the terminator it is going to give us the same screen same like screen of the terminator but it has more functionality than the termi terminal or basically the normal terminal which comes prepacked installed in this Kali machine so features like splitting the horizontally because we can do now multiple operation in the single terminator you can you can simply split the same terminal either vertically horizontally the multiple time so you can see the features you can do multiple operations now in the same terminal over here instead of just opening new terminal again and again so this is the one features of the terminator we'll see now or we do many tags from now in that terminator so before that we'll see the another command that is the apt get install the same command that is going to install the package so if you want to install more than one package with the same line you can do simply like this so it is going to install vlc and terminator at the same time so you can do this command too so next thing is if you know the version num of the package name then you can do something like apt get install it should be install and give the package name so vlc and if you name the version name if you want the version name then you can simply do something like this if you want the version name of the vlc to be installed should be only the 11.1 if you want to do something like python if you want the python version that should be 2.7 if you don't give the version name it will simply download you the latest version if you want the specific version you can simply give equal sign and the version number to this package name so next one is to remove the installed package so i'll simply say apt get remove which is the command to remove the package name if i say vlc should be removed it is going to source for that if it is going to be yes i want to just remove that vlc it will take some time and vlc will be removed from your system so you can also do multiple tasks with this apt get you can simply okay now it has been removed so let's see if this vlc exists or not so this applications is not working properly for me it is taking some time so now if i just search vlc it won't be there because we have now removed that package from the system so the thing that you have to just take here is before just actually um, installing the package you have to first update that package with this app get update command update the database dictionaries and uh, database libraries everything and you can simply use this install command in the package name and that will be installed in your system so if you want to 
uh, update or upgrade which is the same tax and if you want to just combine those command let me just do first and show you what am i talking about so if i say apt get update and y with the attribute and if i say double and which is going to combine our command so if i say sudo now or sudo is or apt get basically i'll say simply apt get and if i say upgrade and y so this is going to do the same tax which is the updating your all of this command list or the package database so this command which we have just here which is apt get upgrade is also going to perform an upgrade and that is similar to this update so you can do something like this too so it can be something like apt get dist upgrade which is the packages that is going to be upgrade so this is the way to update or upgrade all of your packages and this should be done before you install any of the applications on your system so first of all you have to update and install and that is the way to just install any application to your system so in the next lecture we'll see something about chmod and uh, everything about the hacking so see you in the next one